Yes, good evening, fellow Bia France lovers of freedom, men and women of good will, conscientious people wherever you are all over the world, enemy and friends of Bia France alike. I would say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is Radio Biafra Extra for the avoidance of doubt, streaming live on this very faithful day, the 8th of February, the year of Chukukika Biama 2019. I am streaming live through Radio Biafra London, being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Uti Uka from Efo, from Atiti province, Anambra State, Biafra land. Of course, he's standing in a deputizing capacity on behalf of our supreme leader, Mazi Nande Kano, the prince of Afari Biku. And by the special grace of Chuko Kikabiyama, I remain George Unibi from our province delta state biafra land i will not move further than to appreciate the almighty creator who has given us a deputy the person of mazi uchi mefo the man who understand what integrity uprightness stand for the man who stood alone against all odd ujuku made us to believe in our right to sovereignty and mazi which he therefore endorse it and make us believe it again. There was a time we were like a people without hope, without future. We cannot be able to look at fellow Nigerians in the face and tell them who we are that we are Biafrans. For the name of Biafrans and her character have been assassinated, I must tell you, eliminated and properly deformed. And all of us have bowed down our faces in shame, in humility, and in degradation. But until Mazen and the Kano and Uchi Mefo came forth, Chuku Kikabiyama has done wondrous things in our life, I must tell you. Now at least Biafra is not yet restored, but she must be restored because there is no two ways about it. But at least we can be able to walk across the street of Biafra. We can be able to walk anywhere in the world, lifting up our head very high, reminding every man and woman, foe and friends alike, that we are Biafras and we make no apology about that. Who would have made it possible? Considering the fact the magnitude of enemy will fight in the capacity of the British government with all the arsenals at their disposal, I must tell you, BBC is one of them. But here we are. Because there is a God that sits in heaven and he presides over the affair of man. He's the one who has set our feet upon this path that we must follow. His name is Chukwo Kika Biyama. He has appointed a leader unto us this day. In the person of Mazen and the Kano to be deputized with Mazu Uchi Mefor. You can only envy and you are jealous of them like Datan and Abiru as they did to Moses. But you will not change what has written. For what has been written has been written and there is nothing anybody can do about it. We must understand that Chuko Kikabiyama is the primordial influence that drives us in everything we do here. For he, our wisdom, our God, and our knowledge, in matter both great and small. And so I will not proceed until I acknowledge him. Anye na jage mau imana nizuku ne marama e e hona nya ne na ke ubi o mage ujura nya nya dadu ingwe gimbangu o digu ni dika ke e bua fa no mega ane ne ne na sena. Once again, I welcome you this evening. And as always, with our wisdom much of our time, because our times are already fast spent, I want us to move forward to our topic this morning. Sorry, rather this evening. Which is simply, what you must know about voting. What you must know about voting i will try as much as i can to come down to the level where everybody will understand because sometimes when we talk about this voting when it comes to issue regarding nigeria it, it looks as if it has to take our life what is voting universal adult suffrage what is voting what is voting the way you see aerofire threatening the whole world 
that anybody that come to inspect voting in Nigeria, they will go back in body bags. It is like saying anybody that will come and monitor our election in Nigeria, I'm going to send them back to where they come from in coffee, in gasket. It looks as if there is something behind this voting. But believe me, when it comes to the issue of Nigeria, something is wrong. Everything about voting in Nigeria, as far as the government statute quo is concerned, everything about it is wrong. Don't let the grammar deceive you. This is what happened. Rufai come to the national dailies and, of course, on the national television, and they were interviewing him, and he said, see, let me tell you the truth. Anybody that will come to Nigeria to say he's, he or she is coming to inspect the election that is going on in Nigeria, that person must be ready. He will not go back alive. This is the implication of his statement. The person will not go back alive. And he used a bigger grammar. He will go back to body bag. With body bag. And now, when we talk about body bag, most Nigerians will not understand what body bag is. Because when Boko Haram Nigerian army kills innocent Biafra, they do not put them in the body bag. They dig a shallow grave and pour acid on their body, making sure they degenerate completely. They make sure they wipe them away. This is how they kill Saruwiwa. After killing Saruwiwa unjustly, illegally, they buried him and poured acid on his body to make sure nobody will ever know he ever existed. And so, in Nigeria, when you say body bag, I mean, if, if they kill me now and put me in a body bag, <laughs> and they followed me. And so, when Arufai said body bag, I think he has a little regard for people like America, people like Russia, people like Germany, people like Saudi Arabia, people like Kuwait, you know, international community of, of or, or I'm talking about international communities with global now. People like American or maybe Canadian. Canadians, I mean. He said, if you come to monitor this election we want to do, we will send you back in a body bag. Now, let me use the Nigerian way of expressing it. If you come to monitor our election here, when we did not invite you, we will send you back with coffin or gasket. We will knock wood, square wood, and tie you inside there and throw you back. You will come alive and you will go dead. This is what a governor is saying. A former minister of the Federal Capital Territory of the Zoo called Nigeria. And now this is supposed to begin to, I mean, come for a reason. People should begin to reason. What is election in the first place? Why will somebody as short, as imp, as dwarf as Erufai will come out and tell you, they don't come and investigate because they have put every machineries in place to make sure that this election is rigged from beginning to the end. But we must understand what is election. Roger Sokorocha sent the delegate to school where you have pupils of two years, three years, and they give them, is it 500 naira or 200 naira? And they made these children to begin to sing. Rojas, Rojas, Rojas Kaigesu, Mobunyara, Mobunyan, Onyanya Doro, Rojas Kaigesu. In other words, Rojas, Rojas, Rogers, we shall follow. Whether he is mad, whether he is crazy, Rogers, we shall follow. Whether he money or he did not steal our money, Rogers, we shall follow. These are children between the ages of three to four years. And now I remember when Buhari was president in 1983, I was just a boy. My teacher, our teacher made us to lie down on the highway and they asked us to sing a song. The same way Rogers is making those children, compelling those children to sing a song for his glory when he's, he's a dishonor human being. And when Buhari came, it was Buhari that came. It was then Bender State. And they said we should be singing. I don't forget that song. And we started singing. Oh, Jinara Buhari, you are welcome to Bender State. Jehovah God go punish you for all the people where you kill for emo state. And you can't use guns till they harass us today. May Almighty God punish you and give you short life. No wonder he died and he's been impersonated. As a child. But now, look at look, look at how it all go. Now, here I am. I know the truth. So, Roja, so Kurocha, you can deceive those children today. They will know the truth tomorrow. The, le the longer you delay the truth from being seen before all man, the more misery your own generation, unborn children will face. This is one truth you don't know. When we say election, election, I, I, I never knew Nigerians can 
work on Facebook. I'm not talking about Biafrans. Biafrans are everywhere in the internet. Are you talking about IMO? Are you talking about Instagram? Are you talking about uh, Facebook? Are you talking about to go, palm chat, and so on and so forth? We are everywhere in the world, physically and spiritually. We are everywhere. But Nigerians are so lazy. The only thing they do once they sing, stay in front of that NTA. Or that Yoruba propel media, they begin to lie. Nothing more, nothing less. But I tell you, the number of Nigerians I see flooding Facebook in the name of Igbo people, in the picture of Igbo people, in the picture I'm trying to impersonate Biafra, it is amazing, I must tell you. I was shocked myself. You see somebody say, eh, anyhow, we have to vote. Let us vote. Referenda will not pay us. Let us vote. All of them have been paid. These are Alu, Ole, Yoruba, counterfeit. These people know how to forge I, I want you to really think about it what is it about election that is giving nigerian headache they have automatically changed all the commissioners of police in the zoo called nigeria the 36 state of nigeria including the federal capital territory making it 37 they have changed all the police commissioner yoruba guide your territory awosa guide your territory via france no way of course, when I mean Biafran, Beta Niger, Niger Delta, no way for you. The center was, and then they took two Ibu, two South South Biafran, and send one to Zafara, the capital of Sharia law, and send the other one to Boronu State, the capital of Boko Haram, Yatiala, Fulani, Headsmen, terrorist organization of tell of global renown, sponsored by these so called Alamaji, who are your governors. Now, when we say election, vote election, vote election, uh, you have to vote, uh, vote. They are dashing money even to mad people, so you vote. The question is, what is this election all about? <laughs> the way Nigeria handled the issue of election, something is wrong somewhere. And that is what I want you to see. Voting is a, medo a method by which a group of people, such as Nigerians or Biafrans or organization, as a community meeting, market meeting, so on and so forth. They come together, appoint a person or group of persons who will lead them as the case may be. What is election? Election is simple. As we are as a Biafra, on the 16th of February, we are going to do our election. We call it a referendum so people will understand the type of election we are going to conduct. Now, Nigerians have a presidential fraudulent selection, which is to tell you the type of election they want to consult. In the market, they have election. In the motor park or shop like Ariaria or Osishioma or Alioji or Opi Weka or Ikoku, wherever you gather and sell market, you can do election. In fact, you do election in order to avoid the market leader. So, why is it that this upcoming Nigerian presidential selection, sorry, election, look as if there is something wrong? They make it look as if all our lives are tied to election. It is a process where a group of people will come, they select either a person or many people and say, you, 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 we want you to manage this market, for instance. And then the whole people will say, bring out three men, let's choose who is more legi legible to lead us. And the whole populace, general populace will now say, look at these three men. This is Monday, this is Tuesday, this is Wednesday. If you want Monday to lead us, come this way. If you want Tuesday to lead us, go this way. If you want Wednesday to lead us, go this way. And then they count the figures and they say, okay, from our, from what we have discovered, 10 people want Monday to lead them, 100 people want Tuesday to lead them, and 50 people want Wednesday to lead them. Automatically, Tuesday emerge as a winner. That is election. So if you don't win, you go to your home. There is nothing like do or die affair. There is no need for Nigerian government to begin to deploy soldiers, Boko Haram soldiers. Some of them are from Niger Republic. Some of them are from Niger Republic. Some of them are from Cameroon. They are coming from different African countries to monitor simple election. That is number one evidence to make you know that Nigeria 
is a nation, oh, sorry, a country, a contraction of insincere people. Will you hear about election? It's simple as that. We all have participated in election one way or the other. In churches, the election goes on there. In marketplaces, in communities, and in like in Nigeria, the upcoming presidential selection and the upcoming Biafran referendum. These are all election. The people who conduct this process of election are called electorate. For instance, the INEC is the electorate officer when it comes to Nigerian presidential selection. Sorry, election. As in the case of Nigeria, the member of this electorate are supposed to be a non-partisan. Now, the people who manage this election or selection, as the case may be, if it's other country in the world, it's supposed to be election. But if it's in Nigeria, it is selection. They are called the electorate. Like you see INEC. INEC is supposed to be a electorate. But do you know that the head of INEC, as we speak now, is Buhari, late sister? How can Buhari's sister incubate a personated president junior sister? Or is it cousin or nephew? Become the chairman of INEC. And you are thinking it's going to be free and fair? The people who conduct this process, this electorate, are not supposed to be partisan. Now, the people who are to vote always have a particular interest. It is this interest that motivates them to vote. If I want to vote for anybody, there is something I'm expecting that person to do for me. Or will not come and vote anybody except I believe in this person have the ability and what it takes to give my community drinking water. No, I think this man can give us electricity. No, I think the other man will be able to build our economy. This is what motivates me to vote for anybody. And this is what is my interest. I need you to understand what election is. So when we say boycott election, you should understand where we are coming from. You know, Nigerians are so doubt. It's not their fault. Having been bamboozled by British government and held in bondage, mental slavery for a very long time by our South Sudanese and Yoruba. What do you expect some common charlatan from Niger Delta or from Igbo land to do? Or from Efik land or from Abo? What do you expect them to do? Don't mind them. Let's move forward. I will need you to understand what election is all about. Now, it is expected that the people you are going to vote for will make a collective decision. They cannot enact any law without consulting you. That is why you have the House of Representatives and others. The question is, the people in the House of Representatives, the people in the House of Commons, the people in the Senate, your governors and your president, do they even consult you? Because in the first place, these people are supposed to come and say, see, I was I want to take our land. They say it's a grazing reserve bill. Uh, people, what do you think? And the people will say, okay, we don't agree. He will go to the floor of the Senate and say, my people say no to this law. And it stands. That is why we vote for them. Number two reason why we vote for them is that those who will allow us to express our desire as we are out today now we're supposed to vote for people who will allow us to express our feeling we protest against injustice and indiscriminate killing of biafrans okay see i also sent boko haram army to come and kill mazen and the Kano in afari beku we protested against injustice in Anambra State. We do be an unleash mayhem and kill Biafrans. The same thing Peter B did. The same thing Okesia Kwasu is doing. The same thing Roger Sokoracha is doing among other lunatics across Biafra land. Our feelings doesn't matter to them. As far as they concerned, with nobody we should shut up and get out. But normally, if you're voting somebody, these are people who want to allow you to express your opinion. 
At least I should be able to go to the gov governor's governor's office. I go to Ukowa as a Delta man and I say Ukowa. The pace you people are developing Delta State is uncalled for. You people need to speedy up action and make sure that at least in Delta State before your tenure in office is over, at least we should be able to have so 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 and so thing. I need to express my opinion. He may not be able to achieve it, but he must hear me out. But you know what? If you try to any gov governor in Biafra land, you will be stoned to death. You will rot in jail. And then why are we going to vote them? If I cannot express my opinion to you, why will I vote for you? If you cannot go to the floor of the Senate and defend my interest, why will I vote for you? Number three, when you go out there to vote for somebody, the person you are voting for is supposed to carry you along. It's supposed to make you know everything that is happening. Now, if you call any governor now in the zoo called Nigeria, you will get them online. Just try. If you have any governor's number, call them. The moment they ring, they say, yes, uh, uh, yes uh, this is governors. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, they will listen to you. But the moment you finish voting them, they will change that line. The next day you go to their house, that is the end of it. Just test any governor and say, I have 1,000 youth to support you, to vote for you. I tell you, that governor is going to give you red carpet into their house because they want second tenure. And so normally, you vote for people who will carry you along. These people, they push you out of the vehicle. The moment the vehicle keeps moving so why do you why should we vote for people like that number four would you vote for you're supposed to vote for people who will protect your interest but the politicians in the zoo called nigeria they don't give a damn they do not protect your interest they don't even know you you are stupid you are hopeless they paid you to vote for them and at the end of the day and as such you don't have any right to come and tell them to, to do anything for you. who the hell are you who the hell are you? They don't have your interest at heart. The moment their vote is given, your vote is given out in their favor. Once you give out your vote in the favor of any candidate, you have automatically given them the power. You have automatically given your power to that person or group of person to control you until their tenure is over anybody you vote for you have automatically given them the power to bamboozle you to control you there is nothing you will do until their tenure is over there is nothing you will do so those of you who are going out there to give them is it one one thousand they are giving you or two two thousand so that you can vote for them let me tell you the moment you collect that money the moment you endorse them you have automatically agreed that anything they will do to you the next four years there is no problem you endorse them that is why they look so powerful the last time i checked all these people are beggars all these people are less than the goat at my backyard but if i vote for my dog my dog become the most powerful man in nigeria so understand the power of your vote and stop fooling yourself Stop selling your bed right for 2000 and 5000 and so on and so forth. Now, when you have voted them in the Nigerian political setting, the implication is that you have empowered the Nigerian state to, first of all, number one, to lodge it over you, as you can see them doing today. No, imagine all this Alamajiri, what they are doing. They say, Anaga must be removed. They throw on that guy away. People protested. No, 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 no. Naga should not be removed. This is injustice. You must follow due process. They say, get out there. What is Anama and an, an, the due process? Get out there. Anama is, re uh, uh, Naga is removed and is removed permanently. That is how it be. In fact, as I'm talking now, I appoint Alahaji Danguruma of Tuko Tuko to become, to replace, uh, uh, Onaga. And you say, no, 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 no. Alahaji Danguruma Tuko Tuko is not a law student. You say, but he went to Sharia Law School. Do you have a problem with that? It's okay. It's all right. Is there anything you can do? They don't care for you. They lord it over you. And you can't do anything. Number two. The moment you come out and vote for them, they kill your people and go scot-free. Do you know how many people Nigerian Boko Haram army imported from outside Nigeria? Nigeria I think Buhari said that some of the people killing Biafras are from Libya. That Libya army are the one coming to Nigeria to kill us. They kill you and go scot-free. 
Do you know how many people the government of Buhari alone have killed? Do you know how many people that died between 1967 and 1970? Do you know how many people who have died between 1914 to this very hour? The number is still counting. And our murderers, these people who commit this heinous crime against the Biafran people, they are going scot free. They are going scot free. You can do nothing to them. Why? Because you vote them. You vote them. Go, go no. Your own is that once you put your finger after all, just put finger and collect 10,000 and it's okay. It doesn't matter. It matters. It goes a long way. Number three, the moment you go and vote for these criminals, you have automatically empowered them to loot the nation's resources, of course, the resources from Biafra land, and impoverish you. Look at you. Very poor. Now you are begging food. Buhari is still telling you that you are going to next level. For four years, Buhari reduced you to a beggar. You are now using coconut, apakon to soak ugari, and you want to go to next level. The next level is madness. You will naked on the street. Just get ready. JB, you have collected 5,000, 3,000, you are yapping, you are jumping up and down. How many soup can it make for you? I tell you, the next four years, you will go naked on the street of Biafra. We are there. We, we are respecting all of you. The, what the point is that the more you delay Biafra, the more Nigeria will suffer. You have no idea. We are just coming from somewhere and we are going to somewhere. Number four, the moment you vote for these people, they take your land. Look at how they have been gallivanting and deceiving you, trying to tell you that uh, from grazing reserve bill to cattle ranching to cattle colony to agriculture and livestock investment, all these are attempt to take your land. Despite the fact that the Nigerian, the zoo constitution written by one hour sir and as directed by the British government, has actually a mark that every land in the zoo called Nigeria south, 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 east, north, north, west, west, every land in the zoo called Nigeria belongs to the federal government of Nigeria. And it is whether they like it or not, they can compensate you. If they don't like, they will take it. But you know, they want to make it more authentic, more easy for them to collect. Because if they take it the way the zoo law allows them, you will blame your governor. Now they want to remove the blame from the governor and they can just fly from anywhere and take your land because you voted them into power. When you vote them into power, it makes them to take control of your resources. When I see people, there is one Yoruba man claiming to be German. He came online here and said, eh, want our hair. but it's a shame to that very man. I know he's listening to me because he always listens. At the end of the day, he begins to send me courses. He begins to have courses on me on my land. But it doesn't bother me because that is what actually makes me know that I'm making him part. Curse me, mad people. Because you can't cause who the Lord have caused you. You cause yourself. You are there now. You are listening to me. When you vote for these people, they take over all the resources in your land. Let us agree. Igbo don't have oil. Fine and good. You that have oil. How many of your community people have oil well? How many of your Amayanabo have oil well? Do you the Clark have oil well? Did Adakaburu have oil well? Did the Ken Karu have oil well? Did the Sulwinke have oil well? Did Peter Odile have oil well? Did the Don Juan have oil well? Tell me one Biafra. Is it Pierre Sliva? Is it Alam here? Tell me the Biafra man that have all you were. Shim, 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 shim. All of you, one Nigeria who are supposed to be Biafra. Now, one Mrs. Alakija Yoruba woman come to Bayasa and own you know you were and become the richest black woman on earth. And you are jumping that we must vote, we must vote, you must vote. You are a monkey, you are a babu. It is your vote that is empowering these people to do today. Tiwadajuma, we come and say, hey, they're getting out, they're getting out, but Tiwadajuma owns all the oil well in Eche. Eche is in River State, you watch her originally. Now you're going to vote. They are mad people. But we will kill you, don't worry. But it is not supposed to be so. It is not supposed to be so. These people were supposed to be under oath to protect you and your property. Once you vote them, they will use this power you have given to them they will use this power you have given to them they will use it to undo you in every way imaginable that is why we the ipob has declared to take this power back from them because they are insincere they are all thieves they are all greedy fellas they don't care for you. We have to take this power from them. We have to change the way we live our life. That is why we say, but call the election. They don't care for you. 
we have chosen a very simple way to participate in the upcoming referendum. Why Nigeria is voting to choose another looter to represent British government, steal your resources and take over everything? Go ahead, please. We will be conducting our referendum. The question is, who will you vote? Who will you vote? Will you still vote for our Safulani and Yoruba? To use you? Who will you vote? Will you vote for Biafra referendum by sitting at home? So we take this power from these people and then decide how our life will go after February 16. Some of you are afraid of Biafra. You guys, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I hey, want to bring war. Stay at home if you don't want to war. Because after the 16th of February, the music will change, I can assure you that. Our size everywhere, jumping like Chipazi. What is the election all about? All of us come together, we say we want to choose our leader. We say, okay, this man, we want to choose you. But have it in mind. This and this is what you will do for us. He say, yes, I will do it. And when he gets there, I will sign Yoruba and British government, put him on that oath. When he comes back, he kill you. And next year, he will come and ask you 200. You still go and vote. Reason. Can't you reason? This is what it's all about. Universal adult suffrage right. This is what it's all about. You are either disenfranchised, or you are exercise your right but it must not be you must not be compelled to do it and so at this moment we are telling you we have voted the same set of people for over six decades we have gotten the same result for the same six decades and at now this very moment we have said we will not vote for them again we need a change not like buhari change we need a change Nigeria cannot be renegotiated because we know British government will not be able to steal oil the way they are stealing oil as you are talking. And now we say no, we cannot be part of this country any longer. British government should stop stealing the resources in Biafra land to settle Laos and Yoruba and allowing us to go hungry throughout the night. British government need to come to us, then we dash them oil if need be. But aside that, this is why we say there is no election in Biafra land. So that the job people will drink their oil. Ugoni people will drink their oil. Any community that have oil, or had you in an emo state, then, then uh, 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 any community in Abia that have oil, drink your oil. Those of us who don't have oil, let's go and chop our sand. Is that too much for us to ask for? Is that enough reason for Nigeria to begin to employ army from Niger Republic, from Niger, and from Cameroon and other African countries to kill us? Think about it. Think about it. There will be no more Nigeria election in Biafra land until a day of referendum is given. And that day of referendum, we have chosen it the same day they want to participate in the Nigerian presidential selection. Let me tell you, there is no two ways about it. No amount of intimidation. No amount of harassment. Nothing these people will do that will change anything. Just a few days from now. Is it, is it not next week, Saturday, we will see what your AK-47 can do. I can only pity those of you who think that in that mind that they are just shopping around, they're going to tell me happen. Just come out, you will know. You will know. This is our land for the avoidance of that. We are not asking for Yoruba land or our far land. Have it at the back of your head. Let it sink into your ticket score. There is no Nigeria election in Biafra land anymore. There is nothing you can do about it. We are not threatening you making you a promise it is biafra or biafra if you want peace if you want peace if you want peace please don't let anybody deceive you if you truly want peace go back now go back now and make sure that you are not part of this criminal election going on in biafra land there will be no more Nigerian election in Biafra land until the day of referendum is given. This is all we are asking for. And so when they make it look as if maybe there is something else there, I, I, I really don't get it. 
have to vote for somebody I trust. I don't trust Hausa. I don't trust Yoruba. I don't trust British government. I don't trust saboteurs. I don't trust governors. I don't trust the monarchs. I don't trust all, all of them because for 60 years I've been trusting them and they've been letting me down. And now I will say I will not vote again. I want referendum. I'm tired of Nigeria. I want referendum. Let's vote whether to remain in Nigeria or to become Biafra. Is that too much to ask? 16th of February. Stay at home. Yes, my people, when we talk about election boycott, we will tell you there will be no Nigerian election. Don't make it look as if it's something alien to run. It is simple. You only vote those you trust. Those you trust to take care of your affair. Those you trust with your life. Those you trust to give you drinking water, to give you electricity, to develop your place. Make physical, uh, I mean, 
Health facilities are valuable for you. If these people cannot give it to you, why vote for them? Are you voting for them to steal the resources in your land and go and dump it in British government account? Go and stack it in British in, in Britain? No, no, no more election. So anybody asking you, come and vote. Ask the person, why is there no light in my community? Why is there no tide road in my community? Why is there no drinking water in my community? Why is there no f uh, medical facility in my community? Why are my people being killed indiscriminately? Why are they trying to turn me into a Muslim? Why is, are they trying to impose Sharia law on me? Why are they giving the identity of my country, Su, into an Islamic agenda? An identity. Why, 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 why is everywhere Awosa, Awosa, Awosa? What is the population of Awosa? Why is British government interfering in what we are doing here? Why is it that other countries must interfere in our election? Have we gone to Cotonou to convert for uh, election in Cotonou? And I must pass a direct message to the Republic of Benin. You look up IPOB member, we are advising you release them. Release them. I am George Onyibe. Release them. We know you are Yoruba extraction. You should be fighting Cotonou people to reunite with your brothers in Lagos, in Yoruba people, inside the Zuko, Nigeria, now you are francophone and they are Inglafone, you can't even understand yourself, you people are the same place you want to press IPOB down, you cannot what you are doing is against international law we will face all of you in Africa who will come at this time, you will suffer ideally for the avoidance of that, these people are voting you to kill you, you vote they kill you, you vote they kill you you vote they kill you, and you want to come out and vote again, come out and die we are waiting for all of you. Thunder will fire all of you for the avoidance of that. Call on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Sorry, before you come up, please, uh, my leader, let me make our number clear to our people. At this moment, our lines are open. Our WhatsApp number remains 081-828-16964. Our WhatsApp number is 081-828-16964. The line specially dedicated to the men is 081 Two two one five two nine seven one. I repeat again, zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one. And the special number dedicated to our mothers is zero seven zero one zero seven eight six zero two five. I repeat again, the special number dedicated to our mothers is zero seven zero one zero seven eight six zero. Two five, please. If you are a man, don't call this last number because you will not like my response. So when we say don't vote, it is simple. What are you going to vote for? What is voting? What is universal adult suffrage? What is the right to be disenfranchised? And so on and so on and so on. Go find them out. You go see. Say you know supposed to come on that day. These people are useless. These people are shameless. These people are disgrace, and we must treat them as such. Yes, call and WhatsApp. Can you hear me, please? Yes, Mas, uh, George Onibe, this is Isaiah uh, Bakalon from Republic of Ireland. Good evening from here. Good evening, my brother. Go ahead. The world is listening. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, greetings, dear friends all over the world. My name is Isaiah I'm calling from Republic of Ireland. By the special grace of God, I am a member of the Red Church of States, and I serve the indigenous people of Biafra in the capacity of a uh, European deputy rep. Uh, for my household, in the province. Mas George Onibe, thank you very much for the good work you're doing. And uh, of course, I want to also thank our leader, Mas Namde Khan, our deputy leader, and the dear friends worldwide, including the members of the district and the principal officers serving in. I want to appreciate all of you. Um, uh, before I just um, uh, contribute in what you are just reading tonight and your news analysis, I want to use this opportunity to announce to IPOB here in Ireland, more especially here in Ireland. Most of you that have the sticker, no referendum that we stick on our cars. Uh, I realize that most people have removed it from their cars because they haven't got the the designated date of referendum now it has been made public our date of referendum is on the 16th of this february I, i'm appealing to you to place them back on your cars and drive them around so the world will know what we are doing on this 16th it's very very important if you don't have any of them stickers uh um we have to contact 
our doubling coordinator and his deputy. So we will send out one to you. Um, of course, you can reach us through your zonal coordinator or anybody that are you know interested to um, get hold of us. So just contact us through your zonal coordinator, and then your zonal coordinator here in Ireland uh, can reach us in Dublin here, and we will going to send you uh, two pays. It's always on two pays. You stick one on the other side of your car and the other one on the other side of the car. So when you drive around, people will be actually aware of what is going on and what we their friends are doing. It's very, very important. This is another great way we are evangelizing here. So all of you can see that Ireland is talking a lot more about what took place in 1967 between the Nigerian and the Biafran War. There's a lot of information that has been coming out. There's a lot of news that has been linked to us here in Ireland. Uh, they are sending us a lot of a lot of secret, uh, you know, findings. A lot of secret things that happened in Biafra. Well, in fact, the whole com com complete a history of what has taken place during the Biafra War. Some of us are think that Biafrans we are only killed. Um, uh, three million is where the information, the document, point five million is just innocent women and the children they are carrying in their womb. Is just three point five million yeah. innocent children. Children is three point five. We are not talking of adults. What they did is okay, more exactly. than the Jewish Holocaust. We know this truth. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, because sometimes our people don't know. And you see, Marzi George, you see, these people talking even about one million. BBC is claiming one million. You know, and, uh, and the uh, what we are saying here. BBC was telling the world that there is famine in Biafra land. That is why people are dying. Because America was fighting with yeah. Vietnam. Nobody knew the truth. BBC was propelling light at the Yoruba Gota media. That there was famine in, in the forest region. Evil media, uh, BBC, you see the name is British Broadcasting Corporation. For those who don't understand the meaning of BBC, it's the BBC that is their, their political arm of media that they use to deceive people in those days. I remember those days when we are home, you know, we, we think that BBC radio is a very formidable outlet media, and we, we even put a wire and connect it to antenna just to be able to get the BBC. We don't know that we were destroying ourselves. The, the, the information, the, the documents we have at our disposal here, by, by the UN, UNICEF, UN, they said over 4 million. Over 4 million. And now, the report we have from the Irish journalists who were on the ground at the time said over over in, over seven million over ten million people over and there was this mass George there is something that our people don't understand do you know do you know the, this this nonsense they have in in the north claiming IDP and all the other they are they are moving to Cameroon they are there they have refugee all over the place in, in, in the zoo do you know during the Biafra war the the, the the refugee we have remains inside Biafra Biafra we are the one Accommodating the, 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 the amount of refugee we have in our own, in our, there's no help, and there was a total blockade. Land and sea, there was no food. These people isolated our people to die a perpetual death, an agonizing, painful death. You know, and the painful nobody is talking about. Do you know the painful aspect of it? That after the so-called genocidia war, Yoruba came and removed everything our fathers have in their bank account. My mother died without a bank account. And I asked her one day, why do you have account? He said they took her money after the war. She never mentioned Biafra because of the fear of being charged for treason. And now it's a new dawn. Mazi, it, it didn't end there. It didn't end there. These people gave only 20 pounds. 20 pounds. So if you have a children of five, if you have a children of seven that survived the war, uh, you know, you gave them 20 pounds? 
He gave them only 20 pounds. And now, not even only that. I know, that he, I know you, you, how many people my mother is taking care of. Mm -hmm. She told me she bought her first land in Abo at the age of 26. And so yeah. the word occurred when she was around 35. She has owned almost three plots in Abo at the age of 35 after the war. Now you can imagine how much this woman have in bank account. I will take it and build Cabri Nigerian PLC for Yoruba people. And they are telling me one Nigeria and they are telling me to vote. You shall see how it goes. Go ahead, my brother. That, 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 that's, that's, that's the thing. We are trying to, you know, we are trying to bring our people to the sense, you know, to, for them to, con to, to, to start reasoning. That's what we are trying. We, you have to start reasoning, and that's what makes you, uh, you know, different from animal and human being. You know, if you cannot reason, if you cannot remember this, you know, look at what happened at the called Holocaust here that happens here in Europe against the Jews. They are still playing the video till today. They are still there's a documentary that has been played on uh, so that, that such a thing will not happen. In our own case, they are not the the, the, the what took place in Biafra land hasn't been taught in any school, hasn't the history, the way they slaughtered our people, no, no, the way they no, left no, us no. without they any food, the, how, the way they, no, they, they, they teach us it, how it, you know, they, come to discover River Niger. They teach us how to exactly. raise us up. Come to stop the killing of twins. They teach us about Landa Brothers. They teach us about Mafosi Constitution, Lugard Constitution, and nonsense, 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 nonsense. And our people are Yaben Arabas in the Rubu because they are going to heaven. Sorry for that. That is the that is that is the that, that is the problem, my brother. Is she is she is she somebody from Nigeria? And they, 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 when we were in school, they said they are studying a uh, foreign. The, you know all this all this rubbish that they, they, they taught in school and and they don't touch the the history of the zoo how the zoos come about they don't talk about what happened the history of the people that have been a generation that have been that that, 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 that was that, that was wiped away from the suffering these people slaughter they killed up this they stabbed us after that these people stabbed us they didn't even they, they, they talk about the reconciliation and and all this they have the and all none of them were implemented our people survived on their own the, the rest of us that survived up until this time I remember and, and, something. And, and they are talking about votes i remember I, something I, 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 they are talking about they taught me in school yes about the biafran war i remember the topic the topic is the cause of nigerian biafran war they said it was a personality clash between ujuku and gowan and I just look at it and I say, how can, how can two useless people come and cause problem and all these atrocities against our people? And I accepted it. But as I begin to grow, and I begin to ask myself a question, the personality class between Ojuku and Gowan, is that why the road in my village was not tied? The personality class between Ojuku and Gowan, is that why every commissioner in Biafra, in Nigeria, is Awosa, every minister is Awosa, every governor is Awosa, is he the personality class between Ojuku? and go one why the seaport in my place is not functioning and there is no vapor in my land is it the personality class between ojuku and go one that we do not have hospital medical facility is it the personality class between ojuku and go one that we have taken point everywhere in biafra land they have turned biafra land to military occupation a theater of war is it the same personality class between ojuku and go one that is making them to push us to vote by force or will die these are lies by the British government, but they have come late. Go ahead, my brother. Let, Sorry for interrupting. You know, we, this thing sometimes, you know, um, like Mazobi was saying the other time, I don't know whether we are the one mad now or these people, they are the ones mad. Because they, these people are these evil blood suckers. Now, look, look at the riverine area. Look now. Look at, look, look at Saudi Arabia. They have oil. Look at to Venezuela, they have oil. Look at even in America, they have oil. Some part in, in England here, they have oil in the in the in the North Pole. But there, there's never a place that you know you can see a drop of oil spillage. And look at what the damage these people have done our land in the river. Right? Look at how they use oil. The wickedness of these people. They use oil and destroy the ecosystem of the whole entire riverine area. 
and people are dying out of inhaling the gas, the toxic that these people are putting in the air. It was a day that I was watching on the television here, and they showed a nozzle of oil, of a gas, and the spirit out from the, the nozzle and spread it to the air, spread it to the air, and 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 there are people were breathing it in the in the in, in, in that part of the world. And this guy that called Jose Banjo came just two years ago to promise over uh, uh, Ogoni cleanup, and people are not asking. Where have where is the cleanup? Where is the gonna clean up these people promised us few day, few years ago? And they are asking our people to come out and vote and they never ask you the promises you have made. What about the one you just made last year? You have not done anything about it. How come you're acting up? What is the guarantee now that if we come and vote for you, the same criminals you're going to do something that is beneficial to work? Magnus Abbey has been paid. What are we getting in this? Magnus Abbey has been paid. You know, the, you know, you know, and, and some people are saying if you don't vote, that means the the the, the, uh, the killing will continue. You know, you said that there is a war between the one and the two. We were in our own land. You came and killed over over ten million people, and you're saying that it's a, a, a war between the one and the two. That caused the ten million of our people, and the, nobody now, Mass Judge. Nobody is still talking about the killing since 1977. 1967 up on this very moment we are talking about i was watching a video of ball pit our young men we are killed there i don't know who those young men were but they, ju they just brought them that place hung them in the close range and dropped them in that place. this one happened just early, early 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 this week and nobody is talking about it no southeast governors is talking about it no Igbo governors is talking about it no Igbo elite is talking about it no southeast and south south is talking about it our youth are being decimated our youth are being killed our youth are being made homeless they have made us destitute in our land and people are talking about vote voting for what I am asking you people voting for what let's sit down at home this time and let's and see what happened let them kill themselves and drink their own blood. We are not going to vote. That's what we are talking about. We are telling our people. Let's take the future into our hands. This is our own time. This is our future. This is our future children. That's what we are talking about. There will be no vote in Biafra land. Anybody that go out and vote, because they, we can't continue in this pen anymore. Look at how they are treating us here in the Western world. Look at how they are treating us here. Some of us here don't have a proper job. Some of us are doing clean up here. Some of us are going into toilets, standing there, waiting for somebody to come and pay and then give them uh, two euro and one euro and one dollars. This is how the job our people are doing here. Going in a, in a toilet where there is club, club. People, our people will go there and stand and beg in the toilet as people come there and urinate. People who were drunk. It's terrible the life our people are living nobody is talking about our people drowning in the mediterranean sea trying to cross to europe these people have managed to destroy our land that our, our land look like an inhabited area that our youth are running out our women our boys and girls are not getting married and it's not of a concern to these fool people foolish people brothers who told us we are coming giving to 200 to to toddlers children to sing praises to Roger Sokrata for what? After a young boy of nine years was shot in a close range in her mother's shop just two, less than a year ago. Nobody's talking about that. The same, the, these people, it's, it's, they, they, they start corrupting our children from babies so that they will never have sense of reasoning. We are telling our people, look, look at, now, you see, you see, sometimes this life has a way to, to uh, uh, these people, uh, uh, you know, this life sometimes has a way to repeat itself. Look at now, the, as, as the Western, as the international community is not talking, they have never issued any comment over the mass killing of our people, both in the church, both on the streets, both in the market area. The Western, the, the, the international community, the UN have never issued any communique. Now, look at it. The same thing that happened to Katuku, or uh, what, not to Katuku, what's his name? Onehe, uh, Onehe, uh, the, 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 the zoo, uh, this, this man has been there. Our people have been arrested, detained illegally. 
even when court are granted them bail, the 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 chief justice never said you are abusing the law that we uphold in this country. This cannot continue. He kept quiet. Our leader was <laughs> they brought him to court time and time. God knows how many times they brought our leader to court. Including Benjamin the Madugogo, right? Yes. Yeah, all of them. He first of all introduced masquerade <laughs> law. It didn't work. They introduced exactly. Sharia law. It, it didn't did. work. They introduced Sadia Libya law. It didn't work. They introduced Alamajiri law. It didn't work. They introduced Oni official law. It didn't work. And now they now have to grant him bail in a very condition, con congest condition, only for them to come and kill him in his house. Almighty oh, Sue. But, 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 but listen now, now they have paid him with his own coins now. Since he didn't say anything, the same injustice that have been perverted over our people now have been used to pay him. They removed him from, 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 from the seat. Now, even if they restated this man again, this or or whatever they call him, even if they restated him, he cannot command the same respect he used to command. They have reduced him to nothing. So he basically is going to be like a Dr. Nandaziki, where the Romania president, in fact, all the way to him. And now look at the same, the same, what, what's his name? The same uh, uh, air of fire that caused death of many of our people in Abuja. Now, you see, the same international community that refused to condemn evil in, in Africa. Now, air of fire is saying that if I ever see you in this our election, that we, we, this our company, they, because they have taken Nigeria now as their own estate. If we ever see you to interfere here, we will put in a body bag. This body bag, man, is only because you are a hardy saying gasket and the coffin and this. If you put somebody, a dead man, in a coffin, that is a pure respect. But if you put somebody in a body bag, a body bag, like a nylon, you put, you just, you, 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 that person is like, he wants nothing. Even he want not, you know, bringing a, 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 a gasket. You have to put them in a body bag and send them back to where they came from. And look at the international community now. Have they said anything so far? Now they have been paired with their own coins. That's why you don't keep quiet when evil is flourishing in the land. You see? That's what we're talking about. Speak out and condemn evil in entirety. You see? So that's what I'm saying. That this, 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 this it's up to the, it's up to the, uh, the international community. Now, because these wild animals have taken their game now, their threats, and their, 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 their terrorists to the international community. They have taken it to a different level. Because they, they felt they own, they own the zoo, they own Africa, and now they are taking the threats and they are, they, are, they, are, they are evil to the international community that they will put any foreigner. We are foreigners here. Nobody has... They, 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 he didn't make a threat of, I will arrest you, I will arrest you and put you to court. We'll, put, we'll kill you and put you in a body bag and send you back where you come from. And the international community is looking. So now they have, they have, they are getting now the test of what we are going through. If somebody can make this kind of utterances to the international community and uh, they are looking at him doing nothing, uh, that means uh, uh, the international community is completely a uh, waste of for for Africans. We have to fight our fight. We have to do it ourselves. And one of that way we have to do this fight is sit at home on the 16th. Let's see what happens. As we have been voting for all these years, we haven't seen any change. Our land have been destroyed. Our youth have been, been, have been cast out. There's no school, no hospital, no electricity, no nothing. Nothing is functioning. Now, let's sit at home and watch these morals that are sitting in Abuja. Let them vote themselves. Let them vote themselves. Look at the same victim man that was coming the other day, giving women that are carrying baby, breastfeeding with, you know. So, the, the reason why he came last week to give, to dice them small, small, 100 and 200 naira is for him to come today and campaign in Anambra. And I, I like what the people of Obosi did. They, they chased them out like a, like, like a rat. Like
useless they are disgrace them and chase them out from the community now they realize what it means that you cannot you cannot sit at the at the doorstep where you 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 pass through they are getting their pay back but let me give stress to other people that, that, that that's what i have this evening thank you very much for giving me the chance and keep good work thank you thank you and god bless you my brother we must continue yes caller on the line your name and where are you calling from Yes, my brother, my sister, this is Enduko Okoro from Iberia. Iberia is in the local government area. In the local government area, under Umaya province, in the heart of the Afra. You see, my only concern this night is the, the comment of the army since this afternoon, since morning today, that they will be deploying 95% of the army for the election in Nigeria. Now I continue, is this election, is it a military election or a civilian election? Now when a whole country can deploy 95% of its army for ordinary civilian election, it means they are preparing for maybe the First World War or African Intercontinental War. Because I cannot understand, I have never had any way in this world where even a single soldier was deployed for election. Talkless of Nigeria, who has, according to the army sourceman, 95% of their army for election. I really do not understand what they mean. Now, which means, like as our leader and you, Romans, only that in Britain, everybody should stay at home. If you venture, any person venture goes out, well, Whatever those 95% army will do on you, it is it's on your own. That is OY on your own. Because even the army have encouraged us to stay at home by telling us they will deploy 95% of their personnel for election. Not to talk uh, deploying even 10% in Boko Haram, Rabbit areas. Okay, look at somebody like Brutai. The, the, the Boko Haram have ravaged his village and he brought all his family members to Enugu. They are camped at Enugu in a refugee camp at Enugu. Brutal's family, they are at Enugu. Why his village has been devastated by the Boko Haram and is bringing 95% of soldiers to monitor elections? It's an irony. I don't know how we we'll look at it. So let well, us 90, 95% is even small. They should bring in 98% of Nigerian Boko Haram army. Let them bring 90% of Niger Republic army. Let them bring 90% of Cameroon army. Let them bring 90% of Niger army. Let them go to Libya and bring those other army. Kotonou can give them more army. Shebi is Biafra land. Don't worry. Don't the worry. Boko Haram and renegade soldiers are destroying Bonu State and Zamfara State and even Sokoto State. Uh, Buruta is running away and bringing his family to Enugu. His family is camped at Enugu. And he think Enugu will contain him. All right. These people, know. they are fooling don't themselves. Know. We want them to make a mess out of themselves before we will respond to them. No, you can okay. imagine okay. Aero fan now telling the whole so-called war power no, that if they the just come the and monitor this fraudulent the election, they will go back in body back. In like in the cellophane. My brother corrected me. They will go back in the fin. Don't even call it body back. The presidency was defending him. Make, making that mention. Body back. He was the same in the meaning of that body back. Not even casket. If he had mentioned casket, probably. It has been reasonable. But body back. Oh God. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. My brother, let other people will analyze this uh, subject. Let me just start so far. I'm uh, Thank you, and God bless you. Thank, Thank you, you very much, my God. You continue. God bless you. Thank you are a very big teacher. I have always told you to record all these your teachings in a book form. I have always maintained it. So that our next directive generations will read their book. Because if you talk on radio now, tomorrow or next tomorrow, forget. But if it is printed in a book form, all universities in Africa will read their book. 
That's all I want to say. Thank you very much, my lady. Thank you. God bless you. We must continue. We simply say sit at home. I, 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 I don't see why you spend so much money to make people to vote against their will. It's simple. We all, we agree that let's vote for John Boo. Because John Boo will give us drinking water. John Boo will give us good road. John B will give us electricity. John Boo promised to do that when he comes to power. John Boo comes to power at the end of the day, refused to do what he promised to do. That made us to vote for him. Automatically, we have the right to pass a vote of no confidence against John Boo. And now we passed a vote of no confidence against John Bush. Somebody say, no, take money, take money. The money I supposed to use to build the hospital for you, divide it. The money I supposed to use to tie root for you, divide it. Is that why we are here? Why can't I be the one dividing the money for you? Why can't I be the one going to give you 5,000 5, so that you vote for me? Now the world must know that we have passed a vote of no confidence against Europa, against Awosa, against British government, against one Nigeria. We want to go. That is why we are fair enough to demand for referendum. Don't let anybody deceive you. All these things they are doing, they are wasting their time. We ask you to sit at home. Awosa have made sure that all the police commissioner in Biafra land, all of them are Awosa. All the police commissioner deployed to Yoruba land, all of them are Yoruba. All the police commissioner deployed to Awosa, all of them are Awosa. Only two Igbo people, they deployed there to Awosa land. These two, one is directed to Sambisa Forest. That is Boronu State. The other one they send into capital of Sharia law. That is Amfara State. Then they bring one Ni Delta Niger man and put him in Abia. That is because Awosa cannot write statement. They need somebody that will help them write a comprehensive and a convincing statement. That is why they put him there. Because they are ready to kill Aba people. They are ready to kill Biafra. They want to force you to vote for them. I will not know the shame. We shall see how it is. Less than nine days, if I'm not mistaken, we will see how it will go. Bring more army. I will suffer any Yoruba. Bring more army to Biafra land. Mount more checking point to Biafra land. Other countries stealing all you from Nigeria, Biafra land to sponsor their country. Please give them military software. Yes, equip them. We are waiting. Kwademe Ijelu. Kwa de me ijelu. Ni sa wakole yo ni mwakole yo. Ibi jeko ijelu. Don't let anybody deceive you. Call and WhatsApp your name and where are you calling from? Good evening, sir. Good evening, my brother. Go ahead, please. The word is listening. Greetings from the land of Mota. Uh, my name is Osan de Chukwode. I'm from Anambra State. Urumba South. I've got a local government. I know my village, Bombe. I'm the son of the soil. It's just that there was a mistake in my birth. I was born in the land of the Zoological Republic of the Nonsensical Peace of Ridiculous Nonsensical Zoo. I pray that God will deliver me from the water there is in bathing in that country. Mazi, many people have different opinion, which is already. Because uh, in this struggle of, uh, of freedom, honestly, honestly, everybody's opinion is counted. I thank God for you people. I thank God for, for your strength and for your courage and confidence. For your boldness in all. For your boldness. For your boldness. God bless you all. God bless you all. Mazi, I want to say, uh, you remember when I called you last time, there was something I told you. I, I still want to repeat it again before I continue with one or two points I have to make this evening. Mazi, the truth is, whether we like it or not, whether we believe it or not, one of the things that is giving these people confidence to do anything they are doing is that we grew up after the war and we have we saw things that made us ask our parents questions and they told us things that happened when we have not been born. Their children grew and they did not see anything to ask about. We were fighting a war of defense and a war of survival because we did not prepare for that war. That was the war we fought of. A war of defense and a war of survival. Mazi, I told you the truth like I told you the last time. Had it been these people woke up and saw something that we take, it, was it uh, North Korea that uh, uh, America launched the missile that I had nobody give back there without burning uh, an imbecile? Had it been doing that war that we prepared for this war and we have the privilege, we got things we need. Mazi, we were countering these people on air the way they were countering us. I tell you the truth. All this barbara you hear these people making, 
If one missile or one rocket launch something in Nassau Rock today, I tell you the truth. Mazi, these people will enter inside and never come out again. These people never fought war. Their children never experienced war because all that thing they are doing, all these things they are doing in the Lord here yeah, is what they call riot. Riot is different from war. Obasanjo is alive. His tenor came and passed. The tenor of Yaradua came and passed. The tenor of good luck came and passed. Now, the tenor of Buhari came and passed. The tenor of Jubri is about to pass. All these people made promised. All our governors that they imposed on us all made different promises during campaign. Let's go. Let's just check their file and bring out the promises they made during those campaigns. Let them show us one that they have to Which one have they done? A governor will be in a bad state. Seeing the kind of things people are posting in Facebook about the state he is, he don't, he, he don't even feel ashamed. He says, let me use this privilege and see if I will remove one or two shame from my, from my face and see if I can fix one or two things in order. They don't do it. Rather, they stay there. They will tell you, do your worst. Mas, I tell you the truth. I still stand on that same word I told you that they were giving these people not them all yet. Mas, as the Lord leave it and rent it. A chukwokikabi ama We are giving these people no oil. Because of this same oil, our brothers are crying on timely death in the grave. Before, because of this oil, many of our mothers and sisters have been raped and forced to die. And after, after this struggle of survival, and we break through from this great bondage, we will now come again to give them the same oil. For what now? If we are giving these people oil, we are giving these people oil based on trade. Trade by button. But to just take our oil and give these people, man, honestly, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. It will never be a good idea. What will be of our brothers that have lost their life because of these things? Look at the look at the gallivant of men that fell down when when, when the stupid army invaded the house of Mazen and the Kano. I didn't mean the army did not win there. Those, those boys would have not died. I said, okay, Mazi, let me ask you. This, this third operation, Python Dance, I did not see anybody post anything, any picture on Facebook saying he saw military around Mazin and the Colonel's house doing Operation Python Dance. Because he's not there. But the last time they said that, that every time they are doing that, the Operation Python Dance, that they used to cover those areas. But since he traveled, I have never seen any one picture. I have never seen anybody post and say, this was, this was the one I covered. I saw them during this third operation. I don't know. For you to know that these people are fully aware of what they are doing. Mazi, we are giving these people no oil and we will give them no oil. Because of this oil, they are killing us. And whether they like it or not, it is in our land. It is our resource. It is, it, it is our economy. This is part of the reason why, again, we are fighting to live. Because if we don't leave, these people will kill us all. Every time I don't know, I don't know, I don't This is what, this, 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 this is the problem. They kill us all. Mazi, they are killing us all. They are killing us all. They are killing us They are succeeding in life because they hold on to the Old Testament. They are killing us in Nigeria today because we hold on to the New Testament. Thou shalt not kill. But the Old Testament tells you he that killed by sword shall die by sword. That is why the children of Israel don't show mercy. When you touch one, they take hundred. But when they kill us, we just we just rely on the on the on the on the commandment that said uh, that thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not kill. I need a good mother every day. I need a shall not kill. I need a good mother every day. I need a shall not kill. I need a good mother every day. I need a good mother every day. I just don't know. One day, one day, as long as God live it, one day, as long as Jehovah run it, they will run out from the Afra land. That they will never return again until they perish in the in in, in, in no matter where they are. That nobody know. I don't know where to stand, neither do I know where to end. But I pray that God, who strengthened us in this journey, will help us accomplish it to the end. Thank you very much, my brother. We are going home. There is no two ways about it. Yes, call on the line, your name, and where are you calling from? Hello? Yes, Ada, go ahead. The world is listening. Hello, Good evening, sir. Good evening. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Good evening, sir. Yes, I am calling for, for my name is Tano Wabuchi. My name is Tano Wabuchi. Good 
Yes, let me speak with my in my dialogue, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, oh, I'm gonna, oh, hello? Okay, sir. Hello, what's your name? Okay, I'm gonna my own now. I have a little bit of a little bit of a little Okay, <laughs> I got a little bit of money. Get to go to now. Nobody in there, and I do, but yeah. But what did you want the money? What was the one in mother? You should wait. Mabunda, Mabuda, Mabun, they do, they do. I want to come to that. What's the other evil? Now, Abata. Now, by a bed, now, now, why I got. And then, oh, you can't have to get on down. Oh, you know, I can't know why you're. But you are not a flower seed, and why I don't know why. I need a machine hand in. What is more than here? What is he puzzled? That I got in Ghana. If you send the money, then Gedruna, I will be my call in Ghana. Who was it? If I got it, I got it. You can never have a lot of food. You are like Monday, and some of you have got it. But you just don't need to have a lot of money. You never did the car, the car is a little bit of a power. Final day, you know, Thank you, Ada. Yeah. God bless you. We must continue. Call on WhatsApp your name and where are you calling from? Call on WhatsApp. Yeah, good evening. Yes, good evening, Mazel Jojo Nibe. Good evening from you. Go ahead. This is me, Mazel of the year, calling you. Um, I want to put uh, lend my voice on uh, what uh, the topic uh, of your message. This uh, the Honestly speaking, um, history we remember Mazin Namdekano, IPOB, and every dear friend for this effort we are making. Um, one thing we should know is that uh, one thing I have to tell everybody is that uh, our leader has said it all. Because there, is not, there is nothing new any person can say that our leader has said. But we keep on remembering our people. There is no way, no atrocity, no tyranny, no wickedness. Nothing lasts forever. We read history right from time in the Moria. You see the great uh, Babylonian Empire, <laughs> but after it fell. We see the Persian Empire, after it fell. Yes, but we see even to the extent of uh, during the transatlantic uh, um, slave trading, uh, what happened? It lasted uh, for so long. People were many. I, I know many people lost hope that uh, you know uh, that is how people took it as a normal way of life. But eventually, it fell because evil can never reign forever. That is what we must understand, no matter how hard it is. So when you see, even you see tyrants, tyrants, I mean, they, they don't last forever. You know, many of them right from Israel. So there is the turn of uh, the Fulanese. That's why you see the midget called the uh, uh, Elfai. He will come out to boast and, you know, because when he look around, he have uh, one or two Arab uh, nations supporting him, you know. 
Uh, you will look around and say, okay, he have a, a, a rocket propelled grenade. Now for him, uh, the world is uh, uh, under his foot. But eventually, all these things will fall. That is it. As far as we continue doing what we are doing, because this mission is so dense, I tell you. Get on. The trigger of Africa must stand. That is it. Um, as uh, far as uh, what, uh, concerning what you talk about the uh, vote election, in, in Nigeria, everything is being distorted. Election in Nigeria is do or die affair. Because of what? Because they know that the winner takes it all. Winner takes it all. Check all these politicians. Most of them do not have common profession. Most of them, I think, honestly, they make their millions once they enter, they become billionaires once they enter into Nigerian politics. It's absurd, honestly. And people do not ask why. Why is it that all of a sudden, during election time, people will come around, all these politicians will come around and start begging you, start being nice to you, just as you, as you said it all. They will start washing your leg, they will even carry your child that is even uh, sick. <coughs> you know? Reasonable people should reason. What is this? There is something that is there. Because these people, once they are in office, once they are being voted in, it's finished. Normally, voting should be voting of leaders. Because everybody, all the whole millions of people will not come at once to do or to talk. But okay, this is our leader. They take, not rulers, but in Nigeria, they have rulers. They thought that being holding a political office is rulership. No, it is leading. You lead. A leader leads by example, just like a captain of an army. In the war front, he leads by example. He, 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 he goes first. He, he first in first. Others follow. So that is a leader. The, 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 you explain the passive very well. Because the people, how, long, how many times the so-called uh, senators representing uh, 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 constituencies in Jefferson, how many times have you ever seen anyone come to take advice on what do you people, you know, hold a, 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 a town hall meeting to ask people, this is what is going on. Let me give you a situation report. Just ask other people are doing it in every, in every other country. But you can never do it. Instead, the once they are being voted in, you know, it is a stamp, a rubber stamp for them to go there and start loading it to the people. Any decision they will make it there in Abuja, they will talk. Now they will they will start imposing on people that they, you know what they did is right. You must follow it. That is not leadership. That is tyranny and ruler. That is why this election boycott, I tell you honestly, this is the best thing that has happened to us. People don't understand. There might be castigations, criticisms, this and that, but at last, history will remember us that we did the right thing. You know, during the time of uh, Mandela, in the South African time, he was being in prison, he was incarcerated. People, like, even his own people, we are talking to him, trying to break him out. This thing you are doing is not the right, don't take this, you know. But he stood firm. But at last, the glory came. Mandela, who doesn't know about Mandela today? But when he was suffering it, some people were laughing. Some people were saying, oh, one kind of thing or the other. Just the same thing they are talking about against Mandekano today. And the IPOB in general. But a time will come when it will be taught in history and people will be proud to be, oh, my father or my grandfather or my great-grandfather was among these people. That is what people should understand. We cannot continue doing the same thing and expecting different results. It is not possible. Truth is absolute. No matter wherever you put it, one plus one is one. Whether in anywhere you put, anywhere you take it. So, Nigeria election, there is no way somebody can tell me, oh, let us remove this one by vote and put another one. What are you removing? The system is not good. We are fighting against the system. Nigeria system is not good. What is good for the north is not good for the south. What is good for the west is for the east because of different value systems. So, there is no way we can take the same way. 
what we think, what we talk about, what we say is freedom of speech. We take it as freedom of speech because it is our way of life. The Northerners call it rebellion. So how can these two value systems go together? They cannot. So that is why we are looking. That is why we are looking our own, trying to restore our own country, Biafra. We, whereby we can govern ourselves in our own way. We can hold our uh, elected officials responsible. It is not only coming to promise you, I will do this, I will water you, I will fire you, this and that. Now, once they go there tomorrow, they do shake it. No, in Biafra land, even political office will not be even attractive. Because once you enter there, immediately you fuck up, people will come out on the street and you go down. Just as you look at Japan. In a year, they can have prime minister, their prime minister, too, they resign. Another one will take over. Because it is, it, it is like that. It's not something they don't go there to enrich. Once they go there, they see that they, what they promise, they cannot do it. They quietly move out. That is the country we are trying to bring up. We cannot have it in Nigeria. Because Nigeria is, is not a country. It's just force the youth in putting together. That is what is happening. So voting, when you analyze what is election and voting, I am very, very happy that our people will understand what is voting. It should not be do or die, but in Nigeria it is do or die, because that is where you make money. Roger Sokocha, whose wife was sharing money to people, to two pills, one year, two year, three year, four babies, telling them to sing about, that, that is indoctrination. It's brainwashing them to know, to, 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 in a wrong way. They say that they are fighting against corruption. But all these things, sharing money for election is one of the highest form of corruption. It's, why are you sharing money? Why are you buying votes? Which means you don't have you don't have the, 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 the interest of the people there. After when you go there, as you rightly put it, the people we we say, I paid you to vote for me. So what is your own? What do you want me to do? There's nothing I can do. Let me get, let me make it's a business. He invested and he has to make gain and loot and loot and loot and loot more. So any person that is telling you that Nigeria, oh, let us give our vote, you have no vote. Stop deceiving yourself. Even the white Nigerians should join their friends because history will remember us better in a good way. We, we will be in the good books of history in time to come. I tell you honestly. So I thank you, my brother, for the boldness and the way you are teaching people. Thank you and remain blessed. Thank you, my brother. We must continue. Call on the line your name and where are you calling from? Call on the line your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Yes, go ahead, please. The Good, evening, Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, go ahead. Please, please. I, want to, I want to tell you that, that uh, our coordinator in, in the Republic, they have not even released them. Yes, I'm um, very much. Everybody, everybody now, let me tell you something. Have, have you people should not country. feel bad. You people should not feel bad. The Benin Republic, the as a country, season. does not have the right to do what he is doing except they have been bribed by Nigerian government. But the world will know whether Benin Republic is as corrupt as Nigeria or whether they will do the right thing. You must be aware that IPOB leadership, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, are not keeping them quiet. We want to see these people do the right thing. The rule of law is applicable to every, everybody. If by the law of Benin Republic that they have broken any international, any criminal law as regard to the people, we will pay the price that I can assure you. But until then, hold your peace. I said it while I was on. We are very much aware. Don't worry, my sister. It's just a matter of time. We shall see how it ends. I hope you understand. Thank you, Thank Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. So another thing I want to say is this in a in a boy state, uh Devil Omaya was sharing clothes 
the piece of water to the avoided uh, for those who uh, women to the people so that they will come and uh, vote them. Hello? Hello? They are, they are in a in a in a boy state. They are sharing. They are they are sharing a, a piece a piece of wrapper in a boy state. That will matter. They are sharing all the women. So for them to come and uh, vote, is it not uh, IPOB that? Make them, even if all this money and everything now that are doing by their by all means, they are sharing all those things. If you not the uh, IPOB has opened them eyes, I got to be doing all these things by going in a village like this, sharing a piece of even if some will collect, sir, they will say they will not vote, they will not vote. The other one that we are saying with her, he call her sister that she will never ever in life try to go and vote. Let him not try to go. He say he will not vote. But other people that saying that they will not vote. Is it not that you be member that is it not that you be that make them? So we sharing a lot of things to be convincing people. How can people we say that is a terrorist? We come and vote you. Eh? People are there no reason. They declare you people a terrorist. No, they tell you a terrorist to come and vote. Eh? Confusing a lot of people. Confusing them having an head all in them. No, I don't know how I will reward you people, IPOB people. But it's only God that you to reward. Only God that you to reward. All the credit they're supposed to give IPOB. They are not doing it with themselves. Because fire is burning them. Never they will confess. When they are hiding all those things, hiding in secret, 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 never they will, the angel who are there with Chiaka, after a female, they are not covering the pregnant, and after a with a female, but to make it, men, 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 okay, me, for now, for men, 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 I let them in a chimney at the bomb with the Ganya, better. Would the boat of an honor to Chimeca, the Ganya, better. Chimeca, the Ganya, better. We are very doing. I have never seen IPOB overdrawn on ma, overdrawn on ma. Moon one on a east, let's say to the heat. Chimeca Gana goes on, or two days here. A better one of garden, where you are doing one of us. Um garden, where grass or whatever you want to say, Biafra or Biafra or life is what God gives you. Is your inheritance? In our world, can be also look at our voice in a in a broad. After what we have said, do go, do do go. Why voice is written in a in Europe? Say the fine one. If you see voice that are written in Europe. Because many of them, they are this very conference are holding them, they cannot come back. When you see them, they will put the hearing on their ear. Do you, do you, do you, do you, rock your head? They don't have anything, you know. She, she, they do all. They will use it as deceiving people, taking pictures. My, my son is uh, in her blood. My daughter is in her blood. Zero. Oh, but they, are, they are not doing anything. Look at a lot of them who even come to come and marry our sisters. They are saying that uh, our husband and son that we reach that woman will run to one man. Uh, let me answer your name. Go to our abroad to see our boys. I'm telling you. But no, when they go there, they will go. It takes 80 years old woman. A hundred years old woman for them to get the paper. Eh? To get the paper. I'm telling you the truth, my dear leader. As you say, you will hear it. You will hear that, it. That, that is before. Even if they are that is before. Even 1,000 years old woman don't it. want to marry Nigerian person again. That was before. Enter.
They don't do anything yet. They will be marrying a, 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 a 80 years, 80 years woman for them to get together, for them to do this thing. But when they marry a young girl in our place we are now, they can even take care of that, that person. And all, all the instructions that white people give to them, they will be obeying them. They will be obeying them and telling you might not need them. Might not need them. If you see our, how our boys, you see people running, you will take some. They will very high up there. They will fall, they will drop the one for this coming for them. Then some will die there. So we break the leg. I'm telling you what is happening. I'm telling you what is happening. Maybe those people that in have not to come back. If there are hundreds, how many of them are making it? If you don't, if you don't have time to put your hand in a drug, or for one night, not everybody can even go do those things. But I believe in, the, in, a, in a government of Biafra that all those things, they will cut it off. Now, uh, 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 if you see what is happening in that part, eh? that part is there, eh? and you just say, I'm going to go to that part. Border is good, uh, is good, but that, that uh, 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 international airport has been a level. If you travel, coming back, the whole mortgage they will give you as your your personal issue. If you take it and put something, when you arrive, if you see what this uh, custom people will do you, if you see what this custom people will do you, Hey, oh, even if some, even if they forget to send their, uh, I don't know, forget to send their, their luggage and carry something, they will show it because of the zoo custom, zoo quarantine. Many of these and all your eyes will be open whether you carry eggs, but for so a lot of when you carry all those things coming out, they will not even disturb you because. It is your, it, this is your title. But here, yeah. oh, you have killed yourself, bro. You have killed yourself, I'm telling you. You people should put eyes on it, bro. If you see what we are causing in this border here, if you see what we are causing in this border here, my son is it. Hey, it's well. Because I'm greeting you people. I don't know where I will stop. I don't know where I'm visiting. But I'm saying that God Almighty will reward you more than you need. I think he is always to know this in your damn name. I put him at his name. I'm going to know this. Not to find out for him. But him and I'm blessing people who may know him. These three white men. She may say they do for us. They all feel me. They all feel me. They all feel me. As if they are a government. All the time. All the time. All the time. They are a government. Even if they are for a child. You. All the time. Talk to you. Guru na Nigeria na wat sende mare mo re talking who who are not going to the truth. But now we be be called up for do to be the other one mama because of our code motto. Because I see that. Thank you very much. Don't worry, he will be back. He will be back. He will be back. Thank you. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, sir. Call on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, go ahead, please. The world is listening. Yeah. He says that he's surprised that after the war, that everywhere is dry. But now that men are everywhere again. It's what God can do. That he begins to please our woman. So what I want to say is, our people, I don't know how the people will get up on 16th of this February. In fact, I don't believe it. Because I see them throwing stone at the uh, this man called uh, um, what is uh, Ume Victor Ume. So I think our people have woken up from sleep. I don't believe on 16th of uh, February somebody will just get up and say he's, he's going for vote. Vote for whom? Do you know that if you are here, you, because I see how you are feeling. If you are in this Europe, eh, if you live in this Europe five years and come back to that issue, eh, you will be killing people every day with anger. 
because if you, after living in Europe and come to that place, you will know that that place is animal kingdom. I don't know if you have lived in Europe before. If you come here after living here five years and come here, you be killing people every day. Do you know that twenty six or twenty seven people died in Mediterranean Sea last year or last uh, uh, two years? And the whole world is calling on that so-called government that their people died in the Mediterranean Sea. They refuse to answer. The whole country in this world brings their Congress to the, those people. And after the Italian government carried down 26 or 27 Nigerians, yes, a majority of them, they go and bury them. See, today they are still there. Do you know that this so-called uh, uh, Zulu government don't know where those people we are buried till today. And now, and the same people is running, is getting up, saying, come out and vote, come out and vote. And the people who say, come out and vote, they don't even know that you exist. They don't know who is, where is Nigeria. Those governors and so-called governors and president and ministers and this and that, they don't even know that the country Nigeria exists at all at all. Because here I am now, if something happened to 10 Nigerians here, and the government is here, Nigeria, Nigeria government, come, look at your people, there was great crash here, there are still Nigerians here, they are dead, come and take, nobody will answer, you, you don't hear them, even if you call them to come and carry their, the, the body of their citizen, they will, they will resist, they will tell they don't, don't know what you are talking about, even Barrett say it open, that if you are outside, if you die there, that you are on your own, and people are still getting up to vote, to vote for who? So I thank God that people have gotten up. And I have called all the members of my family, although they know me, they know what I'm believing. I tell all of them to sit at home. But even before I tell them, they are the one who even tell me that they are waiting for a referendum date. So I, I trust them. I'm, I'm sure that we will score more than 100% victory at this referendum. The, the, the end of Nigeria is at hand. So, I encourage our people home to keep on. We are the right hand of the history. Don't go out and vote for somebody who don't even know that you exist. Somebody who even don't know the name of Nigeria, that Nigeria exists. Somebody who the children are in America, in Canada, in Australia, in Europe, enjoying. Don't you hear Amishi? Amishi said that his children is one is in the UK, one is in America, one is in Canada. Then he's here telling you people to go and vote. Tell them to bring their children to come and vote. So don't leave them. They are criminals. Just stay at home. Then the next day, you will see the, the result of staying at home. Biafra will emerge. Because our leaders said that Biafra will be the last history on earth. If we pursue it the way other people pursue their independence, you will miss it. So that this is why we are pursuing it in another way. And the people are being surprised, asking, oh, what are these people doing? Even some people are going to lecture to know how we are we bring this our wisdom. But it is from heaven. It's not from you know, any university. It's from heaven. So do, do not be surprised that after the 16th of February, uh, 17th will be, uh, the Afghan flag will be up in the Afghan land. I promise you this. So, I encourage our people to continue and stay at home. Never let you go out and vote for your enemy, to thieves who don't even know that you exist. Thank you. God bless you. And keep us alive. The BFO is restored. Thank you. you see, Goodbye thank for you now. very much. Call on the line your name and where are you calling from? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Go ahead, please. Uh, my name is uh, Ethan. I'm calling from, I'm from indigenous Sahaji. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I am a member of IPOZ in Amazon, hardcore. We don't fear anybody. I say, I am Whatever we are going to happen in this week at home, we are not fearing anymore. Our parents have already told us what is going to happen during the zoology. Republic and the Nigerian Japan Civil War. So, we have already gathered mind and morale 
Very day, our great leader, the hero of my time, oh, my man, I will, I will have you my home. I will point you. God will give me a man like a director. So that is the day of sit at home. They then come and bring us. They then come and bring us and force us to go and cast the food. This time around, we don't care. We don't care for the the zoo, soldier, whatever they are going to affect, whether they will come from Sudan, Tad, Bene, anywhere they are. I just, when people are, when I see when people are talking about the so, then I wish the African people will have mind some people have. You know, all of the fight today, the Afra have all, the Afra for already saw that the letter been made. So this is the day we are waiting. This is the 15th of February. We have already arrived. We are going to see what is going to happen on the scene. We are ready. We have already tied our rata. Whatever. Let them bring the fighter jet or fighter fighter or waiting waiting. People where are they blame all these people, all these politicians, people are done. The other day in, 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 in my place, in Abaya, people come, they share five, 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 they are just look at people, jumping up, following politicians. I, I follow with many of them, always, every day. When I begin to explain my feelings, let me God know where I feel. So, Anytime I sleep, I sleep with the happiness and joy because Biafra has already come. I have already seen, I hold Biafra in my hand. So, I greet you people. I greet everybody. Every had a call. Anybody that walking to make sure that Biafra is come. God will work with everybody. All of us will see Biafra. All of us will march in Biafra and enjoy Biafra. The African land will bless all of us. None of us will die in this sociological recovery. So no matter what they plan for us, they will know they will not succeed. God is always acting us. I think I see maybe well, I see the way you have you come to destroy data. So carry is the whole data at hand. Before, uh, when I dealt with data people, they thought they were not with Biafra. But now, I see the way data people are talking of what is wrong. We are somebody. We have nothing to tell you now. On a very good day, when Biafra will come, all of us, all the way, I feel we don't want to go. I enjoy and greet everybody. Anybody who deserves greeting, this is a great greeting. So thank you. I, I have a somebody here who wants to speak. Hello. Okay, George Oliver, good evening. Uh, I want to sing a song before I raise my topic, and I, I have information to give. I, I will. I would like to sing a song. This song goes like this. Guemesia, Wangi, Wangi, Afra, Guemesia, Wangi, Afra, Gezu, Kotamu, Anga, Ko, Ake, Ko, Utai, Si, Mesie, Anga, Rota, Yanke, Oma, Guemesia, George, only the mind and still remain to call the Hindimogu, popularly known as the Marocan area. See, George Oliver, I have information I want to give out. Now, see, Abba, Abba now is on the seas. They have seas, Abba. There is no movement. There is coffee in Abba. As I'm talking to you right now, there is coffee in Abba. Now, now, all these military men, they are carrying, carrying our people. If they're carrying our people, they go dump, dump them somewhere. Then on that day, on that 15th day, 
this information information has come from an uh, an uh, uh, army man he said on that day they will carry all of them distributed them uh, uh each, each state then surrender all of them then video all of them say uh Jaffa people they don't vote they don't vote they don't vote so this is their plan now that's why if you come about now then go carry uh, people boys women Immediately it, is, immediately it is 7 o'clock, they begin to pick people. So if they pick people, they will go dump, dump, dump them for somewhere. That day, they will go carry, carry all of them, distribute them, the whole state in Biafran land. Then after much more, they will go say, hey, they are Biafran people. Because they go imagine them with all these people, when they, when they carry from, the, from uh, Niger, come. They mix all of them, they will go say, hey, Biafran people, they don't vote. They don't vote. Please, I want you to to hammer this thing in a way people will understand it. My brother. Let the, let the whole brother. world hear it. My brother. She be there in the Afra land, Abi. Yes. Not yes. to do the war land. Yes. Not to do war land. Yes. In the Afra land, Abi. Exactly. Just leave exactly. them. Let them do their work. This is their time. Their time is winding up. For many, many take care or fast them. This kingdom have been yeah. divided against itself. There is nothing they can do. Not intimidation, not harassment, not conspiracy. Nothing, 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 nothing. They are dying already. They are paranoid. This is all they yeah. can do. Let them bring it on. We want more of it. Don't bother okay. yourself. We are okay. watching them. Okay, sir. Okay, please. I want to speak in my dialect so that my people will hear very well. Let me talk. Let me speak in a language they will understand. Thank you very much. Because umunyem what is happening? Obo Isha manga o Oba Gowa de Kim Konde ama wum di kuwa no. Unu makona dabe tobo para para ogola ama wum. Unu makona dabe tobo gonda ama wum. Why you know she here ever? The reason is time. This is time to take our to take our 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 thing. Then if you know she claim here, please gonda ama wum. Ask him to get back. Get back no. Get back no no. Ora adla too much. Kaya mi ke muta ni hai na cho. Kaya mi ke muta ala ni. Diko. Biko, Biko, Unu Nambo Fesi, Ngobulu Nuno, Atom Kamna Nulun, Motivate them in the Kaiman on a Kaiman on a room. Kaimakon Nulu support the Hainan, so that at the end, I am in the I rejoice, Nala Biafra. I'm a make a umetim soon too. Umetim soon too, and I make a loon, because you scream as you came. Unu zulu keme, unu nemi hob la si me, ni na na yuko si i hob la si is asi nu me nani ya. Ume chumu zulu tu na abane, ane mi hob la si hame, ana masika chuku uki kia bia ma vile liwe, oge jowe anye ni ne ndo, oge jowe anye ni ne ndo, kanya amo biafra. Mkwa nong sope uwe ni na, ama mna on si sinti, hawe do gebi, uwe ni na ge jo si sinti. Uwe ni bwe ge shi vya la, ane 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 Thank you very much. Thank Let you. me allow my, my fellow people. Uncle, bless you. Thank you. Yes, call on WhatsApp your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead. Good morning. 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 In this room, when you have a wagon on or out, I'll be here for the night. I'm not sure enough to see the king and 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 Thank you. 
Thank you very much, my brother, and God bless you. Yes, call on the line. Your name and where are you calling from? Call on the line. Can you hear me? Yeah, Papa. Papa, Mazen. Yes, this line is for female, and you are not supposed to be calling it. I'm sorry. Yes, a call on the line. Can you hear me? Call on the line. Can you hear me? you have please sit on hold but we must continue call on the line your name and where are you calling from hello my baby good, good evening good evening go ahead the world is listening um, my name is okay i'm calling from the watcher mommy okay god bless you okay god bless our leader and our deputy leader yeah, hey, there's one question I want to ask Nigerians. Nigerian Nigerians. Why are they crying for? Why are they looking for whom they put in a body bag? Why are they looking for it to be their crush, their grind, their squeeze, their do that or they do that? Well, I think uh, they have, um, Nigeria has God. All the pastors in this whole world uh, in Nigeria, all the churches from the north to west, from south to east, they have pastors left, right, and center who work miracles. They make the dead, they make the blind to see, they make the learn to walk, they make miracles. Yeah, Those yeah, that don't have money, they have politicians to steal money, they, they help to win election, election they are and people. Why, why won't they start now to pray? Since their God is, their, their, they say God is in Nigeria, it's God that created Nigeria. Why not start calling their God to change their ITUB um, mind so that on the morning of 16th uh, February, ITUB just woke up as a Nigerian national anthem once more. 
I'm, 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 I make us start <laughs> coming out to vote. And they are crying, can't even go know about for she like to you members. Well, it is too late for them. We are going back. Uh, I told told us that things fell apart and the center could not hold. And more than they cannot have come. He saw the things that fell apart. He humbly brought himself down. He started moving from one country to, all, to the other, kicking those things that fell apart, guiding them bit by bit, bringing them back. And on the 16th of uh, February, I think the, the job was completed. So they're wasting their time. The, the only choice they have is to go and start praying to that their God that works miracle. And let IPOB also pray to their God that will deliver them. So that on 16th, we know the prophet of Baal, um, uh, uh, prophet Elijah, who will pick whom God will answer. So with that, I want, uh, somebody say that uh, we don't love ourselves. That's why we will not get there far. I want to ask that him. That one is old news. Yeah, and I asked him, um, why is it that we don't love ourselves? He said it is in our nature. And I, I told him, are you sure? And the, the actually, person I is from you. where? He's a man, an evil, evil man. He said you are a man of our blood. He said you are a man of our blood. I asked him whether he has read things fall apart. He said, oh. He, he saw it as a kind of stupid question. He started laughing at me. I said, Madam, uh, do you know who you are talking to? I'm a learned man. I went to school. I mean, he said, I've traveled a over the world. Man being ruled and I by asked him, a, a <laughs> what is that thing? Can you, please, can you please tell us what, the, what, what, what are those things that fell apart that the center could not hold? So it was a kind of looking at me. And I told him, okay, to my own understanding, the things that fell apart were the things that held us together before the white man came, the, the love we shared, the freedom we enjoyed, the respect we have for human life, the dignity of labor we have. It was when you read things from, things from apart, certain things that were mentioned that we showed that the type of life we were living, the kind of people we were before the white man came. By the time I finished explaining to him, he was like, he was surprised that I can go to that extent and explain such things to him. Before I you know it, the devil in him left him. He started saying, yes, yes, I let him. And then what I'm saying is, uh, is true. That if only we, we the, the, well, why, why they are scared is because of what they saw to Nigerian and Nigerian Biafra war. That is why they are not supporting war again. So this night, I want to tell them that we are going and nothing is stopping us. We are praying and calling on, on our God. And he will answer us that day, victory achieved. I want to use this song also to ask Kukika Gemma to come down that day and make me for himself. To come and prove to the world that we are not calling his name in vain. That he will wipe out our tears for we have suffered enough. Should I go ahead? Yeah. <laughs> Oki ke ikwe la ko wa juani si ke de vi no Aya si ke, ay wogi zanani, yani zanye bego, mba wana fiaro, ay wogi le, e, chuku zanani bego, e kwe la ye, chani ye kwe la ni, kwe la oku wa jani si, 
de vino ay aka aka o adieri ngoro lele o kike ipe na oku ajanisi ke de bimo e ey e chani ye kwe na lele o kike ipe na oku ajanisi o le vino mbawa na chani chani chubaha eze chubano hao Mbawa na chwani, chwani le, iko chubano hao. Yeye, chwani ye kwe na lele, chwani ye kwe la kuwa chwani si. Onebi no, aimani igeme o, igeme ko vijani ma o. Aimani igeme o, igeme ko vijani ma i. Aimani igeme o. Ige me ko vida ni machuko, ay mani ge me o. Ige me ko vida ni ma o. Leni ale mani e chani me zanu ko vida ni ma. Leni kana chwa vani chuku me zanu ko vida ni ma o. Leni kana bwani e ze me zanu ko vida ni ma o. Ay mani ge me. Ige me ko vija ni ma o, ay mani ge me o, ige me o ko vija ni ma chuku, ay mani ge me o, ige me ko vija ni ma o, ay mani ge me o, ige me nu ko vija ni ma chuku, ay mani ge me o, ige me ko vija ni ma. Nyenani dia fale wewe ya mezanu ko vija ni ma o. Nyenani dia fale wewe ya mezanu ko vija ni ma. Yes, on sixteenth of February he wipe out out our tears and he make us smile again. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, good night from here as we are inching closer to the end of this program. Let's uh, call on WhatsApp. This will be our last caller for the day. Call on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Yeah, hello. Good evening, Samajon Yibe. Good evening. Go ahead, please. Yeah. I thank you for the work you are doing. Chukoki Kabema will continue to bless you. There is something I am calling from. My my name is Marvelous. I am calling from Venetia Maestre in Italy. I want to beg every Tasik stars, fathers and mothers in Biafra land. The 1,000 Naira, the 10,000 Naira, even the 5,000 Naira they are going to give to them. Let them not be oppressed or let them not be impressed on the money they want to give them. Let them make sure that that money will not impress them. Let them leave, leave the, the 1,000 Naira or the 500 Naira, any, any amount of money they want to give to them. We want to use this opportunity to let them know that the, 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 the evil, evil people in Nigeria, they cannot rule us. By the special grace of God, we are going to conquer everywhere they are. There is something that impressed me that... Uh, Someone told me yesterday something concerning what our leader, Mazin Nande Carlo, told us last time. I was surprised. Some old men, they were saying, and say, hey, the other day, we keep, um, the, the, zoo leader, the zoo leader using left hand now instead of right hand. And they told him to speak his language, fra language. He cannot speak the language. Which means what this um, this man, this Biafra man is saying, which means it's true. I told them it's true because you people think what he is saying that is a lie. The person that wants to rule is a dead man already. Let them not impre be impressed with the money they want to give. Let them make sure that they didn't, rule, they didn't vote for this zoo man. This election is not going to stand in Biafra land. It's not going, going to be, uh, uh, happen in Biafra land. Let them make sure that nobody votes. I am begging everybody in Biafra land. Let them make sure that on that day, nobody should vote for this dead man, for this evil man, for this 
head of head of the the, the blood suckers they are massacring our brothers killing our sisters look at the way they are killing our sisters everywhere the person that is going to collect that money if it is not have the love the pain in his heart the pain of the brother that has been killed the, the, the pain of the sister that have been killed even the world that have been killed in north and south everywhere if they are not having that pain even me i'm having the pain let them make sure that this election will not hold the gods of our land has started making them know what is going on look at what happened to pdp the other time look at what also happened to apc for them to know that the Chuko Kikabiyama is not sleeping. He's letting us know that he's, uh, he's on our side in whatever thing we are, we are doing. Please, everybody in Biafra land, I want to let everybody know that this election, everybody should not vote in this election. This election must not hold. That is what I am telling everybody. We know that we that is here, we are not going to vote and we are not we are not in support of anything concerning this election. Let them make sure that nobody come out outside. Go and cook whatever thing you want to cook. Go and eat whatever thing you want to eat in your house. Let them make sure that they did not vote this election. And this election is not going to hold by the special grace of Fukuoki Kabiyama. Mazio Nibe, every one of you that is making sure that this Radio Biafra is holding for us to know what is happening in our our land, Biafra. I thank every one of you. Fuku Kikabema will continue to bless every one of you. Fuku Kikabema shall bless our leader, Mazin Nandekalo. Fuku Kikabema will continue to lead him in whatever places he is going. I thank you, sir. Thank you for for the job you are doing. I thank you for your job work done. Yes, thank you, my Jesus brother. Name, amen. And good night from here. This is where we will draw curtain for this uh, segment. I must tell you, we will continue tomorrow morning, of course, from the Afra land. You understand what I mean? Now, notwithstanding, the truth cannot be emphasized. We have cast a vote of no confidence on the zoo called Nigeria, and as a result, we have declared to boycott every Nigerian election in Biafra land on that very day the 16th of February this very year that should be next week Saturday have it at the back of your mind that there will be no Nigerian election in Biafra land if you are a Biafra please stay at home if you are a war do the work carry your PVC to your region to your country and vote but you are a Biafra you think you will sabotage what you are doing we are taking record of you come out there the volunteers must be at a lot. We need record of everybody who is a Biafra who will come and vote that day. Let us see how it go. And then before I round up or sign off, do not forget that our leader, Mazen Nanekano, will be addressing Biafrans globally on Saturday being tomorrow. Remain focused, remain blessed. Chuko Kikabi Ama is with us. As a sign off here, I remain just we do, we do, we do. Look at them, I hate me, they're sick, man. Our mothers, 
suffer after voting and you'll suffer unemployment after this voting power failure and disappointment from these roads less a rebel politicians yeah just tell me why we voting brother just tell me say me promise and then you power yeah I don't want no deception From Calabari Calabari To the end of your security, security. We will post from nobody Nobody Until we get to the promises Let's go Dear friends, not that late Our lives are in danger yeah. 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 In love we fuck them for nothing Prosecute We are to live our right Freedom fight, okay, roller. We know they play. No Biafra, no election. No election in our land. Your eyes are with me. Our voice do not count. Politicians are camelon. We are too loaded to surrender. Our head is high. My mind for a million years. We are only recognized when it's time for election. Politicians are liars and are full of deceit. No food, no clothes, no shelter, no job. Our talent has been buried and our salary suffered. Let it be known to the British Nigeria and the world as a whole that we did dear France. I said to go, to Samara, we not leaving not even one soul, so pay attention. Yeah, but in the game, the nation just be the same. The nation in the land, not even for cars. We are not one nation with them, they probably done fair.